you know why we're here. We're going to see another property. I wanted to show you the drive up because you always like to drive up. You can see what's what it's like in the country. This is just eight miles to Danville, eight. Now, this is an awesome lot. The house ain't much, I'm gonna tell you. It's a single wide and it is on, uh, and it needs some work. The floors are a little soft, which means you need all new OSB down, like Advantech, that's really good stuff. And then we do them all the time, it's not a big deal. But it's going to cost, I'm going to guess, between six and $8,000 to do all the floors over and new floor covering. You're going to want to do vinyl luxury plank uh, or luxury vinyl plank or whatever they call it. Or you might want to do carpet or whatever you want to do. But it's still going to cost you. It's going to run you between six and eight for the whole job. Okay? Look at this. It's just beautiful out here. This is Boyle County. So you're in, you know, a great school system in case you ever need to sell. Um... What else? Seven miles to jobs. You got the college. Uh, if you're in medical, we've got a regional medical center there. This property is seven acres. Fantastic, right? Everybody wants some land. Got a cute little log cabin here next next to you. And then the property starts right here at these cedar trees right there. And here we are. Dag on, baby. Now it's a single wide, but here's the value. The value is the land. They're only asking forty-nine thousand. Okay, seven acres is worth more than forty-nine thousand here, to begin with. And then you've got this house, which is very livable. Come on in. We're gonna go see. So a fairly new metal roof, and the single wide is in there, and then they've got these bump outs. So whatever, it's good. It's level. It says. This rises a little bit, but it goes all the way back to there. You got this little shed here. You know, if you're gonna build and you're gonna do whatever you want, which is, that's the dream, right? You do what you want. This might not be the right place for the house for you. You know, maybe it's up here on this hill. Look at the views, just beautiful. Maybe the house should be up here in the corner. Maybe that's where it should be. You got power here, so it's easy and cheap to get the uh, power company to come in and do a, um, what they call temporary power. And there's a little shed in the back. Ken's really selling the land here. Huge back porch. Could you live in this house while you're building your other one? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's about, man. You got a septic system, you got city water, you got power, you're good to go. You could, heck, you could build another pond up here if you wanted to. Anyway, you might want to put the house up here. So what are the advantages of that? Well, it's higher, drier. It's also a better view. Look at that view. Also, if you're up here, you know what they say about what floats downhill. So the septic's down there, you're all set to go. Septic tanks here are rated by bedrooms, not by square footage of the house. So if you got a three bedroom, 6,000 square foot house, it's very possible that the septic system that's here is gonna work. Now, if you put it in a 19 bedroom house, maybe not. <laughs> Just for reference, there's another pond right there. Right in there, it needs to be cleaned out. It's not worth anything the way it is. But there's a dozer guy just a few doors down. He can come out and he can do your pond for you. A couple few thousand dollars, you can get yourself a real nice farm pond. Go run inside now. Now, we get a lot of we get a lot of love mail. Every once in a while, people are like, how come there's not anything more affordable? Well, this is for you. Now you can't complain that there's nothing affordable. It needs some work though, okay? If you're gonna live in this, it needs some work. That post is rotten. I'll show you all the stuff. The other two are not great either. But the easy thing is, that's just an eight by eight. You can get that at the lumber yard. We got sawmills here at lumber yards. Here we go. So this is the addition, right? That makes sense. And this floor is decent. 
That's also the addition. See that little bump out there where the door is? I guess that's the other bedroom. Dining room. careful where you walk because the, the floors are a little soft. I mean, you're not going to go through. Well, you might, Brad, because you weigh as much as a hippopotamus. Yeah, they just threw some plywood down here. There you go. So this is the master bedroom. You've got, I guess, just one bath floor soft right so you just need to come in and have like David and he can just come in and just wank all the floors up go down to the bare floor joists and then you're done then you got everything you need you got all new so maybe you've got a, a boomerang kid or maybe you've got a kid who just needs a break or maybe you want to rent this out. Out in the country, this will rent pretty good. Cindy and I are in the rental business. You know that. This will probably, if you fix the floors, put down new carpet, it rent for a whole lot more, of course. Forty-nine thousand. Can't buy a pickup truck for that. Come on now. Got a place for the wood stove there. And the porches. And is it good enough to live in while you're building up on the hill? Yes, it is. And then you got Boyle County, and then you can just get rid of it when you're done. Or you can rent it out. Heck, put Granny in here. <laughs> My poor Granny, she's everywhere. I put her everywhere, don't I? All right, here we go. This is right for you, great. Call Ken, phone number's right there. If it's not right for you, great, even greater. Go on onto our home finder, and we call it our VIP list, and who doesn't like VIP? We will send you properties before they hit the market. Before this goes on the market, you're gonna see it, okay? That's what we do, because that's how we roll. Talk to you soon, thanks a lot. Thanks for enjoying this chilly morning. It's not too bad, I'm just in shirt sleeves. But uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful day. The sun's out. What the heck. Ciao. Couple few, couple bleh. Couple few, couple bleh. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.